Hi, it's Dominic from Paphos Life, and I'm down at the seafront. Uh, and for change, I come down in the middle of the day so that people can see what it's like when there are people around rather than 7.30 in the morning when it's nice and cold or cool. So by the time I get to the harbour and the castle, I'll probably have melted. But here we go. And one of the fishies that are good for putting uh, your rubbish in, the plastic bottles. I do spare a fork for the person who has to empty it. So I saw one up at Yoskapu Beach and they actually had to climb inside it, which can't be very nice, especially in the heat. Mind you, the Oscar Beach one's a bit bigger. This is the uh, gym, it does get used, but not in the middle of the day. That hand was quite hot, you know? Whereas early on, it's definitely usable. There's a blue flag signifying, there's two flags actually. The first one signifies the quality of the water, and you'll find them all up and down the coast of Paphos, and the other is because the dark blue one is because this is actually a blue flag beach itself. It's also very good for snorkeling and uh, a good space to see tur uh, turtles. I won't guarantee it. I pointed out in previous films, but if you want to get money out of a uh, cash point, up there is the right place to do it on the seafront. It's the Bank of Cyprus and you don't get scalped on commission there. Whereas the small, smaller portable ones you see dotted around, you can get burned quite badly, so use that one. Right, according to the thermometer, on 24th of uh, July, it is I think it's at 36. Well, air quality is good anyway. Very nice. Actually, I'm not going to stand and wait for it to change again. It's too hot for that. As you can see, the uh, uh, he was now fully pedestrianised again because the road works behind the supermarkets have progressed to an extent where you can actually drive at least one way down them. So that area is closed off again, which is nice. Though I did enjoy being able to drive at least a little part of the seafront again. I can understand how the majority would prefer fully pedestrianised. As he's not getting mugged with uh, photographers, I'll go and say hello to the boy with the fish. He's probably quite hot at the moment. Well, since they paint uh, or clad the tower in white, it looks smaller and less imposing than it did. I know a lot of people hate it, but it's not going anywhere. Here's fish boy. I bet he's got a nice hot head. Ooh. some of the new seating. I think they are going to put some uh, shading at some point in the future along here. 
because that was why the area remained closed off for so long before summer, I was told. But uh, that's all speculation, pub gossip, so to speak. fair amount of people using the beach over here. I guess if you're in the apartments, Paffinia up there, then these ones would be ideal because you won't have to worry about changing them or anything. You just have to go across the walkway and you'll be back in your own apartment. bit early for the main lunchtime crowd still. Cool. It is hot. One day soon, or well, one evening soon, I'll have to come and do this walk uh, in the evening. If I worked on a script, then I'd have phrased that a lot better. I'm afraid you get what comes out. There you are. Great opticians. The captain's view is open up top again. There are a few stalls uh, along here. I'm guessing that'll be the usual, or I'll say hair braiding, but that's cheating because I can see that already. Uh, there'll be a guy selling sponges, guy with a lizard, guy, I don't know why, but they tattoo, not tattoo, they engrave a grain of rice with your name. I'm sure people must want that, but it just strikes me as a rather odd skill to have. He says walking down the sea farms in very hot weather with a huge coffee microphone. That's the hair apps. a lot more season down here. Okay, your name on a grain of rice. And the sponges. Oh, and the sketch artist. I forgot him. I do apologise. I think I want hair braids again. towards the new car park and the bus station well, there are buses beyond that now people will ask me I don't know what the long term plan is I believe that the new bus stations have all been completed they're just going to be handed over to the relevant governmental departments there's Paphos's I'm sure that's been moved. European capital of smart tourism this time. That's the kiosk where I bought my batteries. We're coming up to the hardware area now. Still very, very calm, the water. This guy is doing some toilet touting. Hey, 
Someone was asking what camera I was using, etc. I put in all the details at the bar in the uh, text description of this film, so a link to Amazon. I'll also put in the link to uh, the tour site we recommend because it has all the tours just about listed in there and you can buy on uh, book them online. It's run by the people who do TripAdvisor. So you can read lots of reviews as well. There's a bit of work going on here still. Let's get past these people and have a look. Not sure what they're doing. Here's a nice portrait painter. It makes a change from the usual uh, caricatures, as you see. Yeah, fair play. There's the archaeological park. You'd be quite brave if you attempted to walk around that in the middle of a summer's day, you know? So, say, if you want to go there, go in the morning or just before it closes, well, give yourself an hour or two before it closes. Now we're coming to the restaurants, and this has taken me a few minutes. They're probably going to be a bit busier. It's uh, up to half twelve now, I think. People are getting hungry. Oh, it smells good. Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Welcome you very to much. Very nice. Very nice place. It's recommended <laughs> that. I would stay and check, but it's too hot and I'm melting. Oh, the pelicans around. Hiya. Hello. <laughs> I don't see any pelican. And the only ever thing is when I see the Ula Lama. Look. Frank Scott. Don't tell me he's not on. He's probably in the shade. Yes, he looks like he's in the shade. And as we reported last week, they've taken the walls off them anyway, the roof's still there. Hello, Harry. <laughs> Ooh la la. Where have you been? Where have I been? I've been in the shade, mate. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, for you. It's, it's, it's pretty hot now. It is, isn't really, it? Very, hot. So, do you know what's happening here now? Well, they, they, want to remo they want to take it off. All of it? Yeah, all of good, it. Good, good, Because good. there's a new restaurant yeah. coming called the Ocean Basket. So they don't want them, they don't want it in front yeah, of them. Yeah, 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 for sure. Thanks for the aircon, yeah? We love you! <laughs> yeah, <I bet> you. <laughs> I'll start from the top. And here he is, hiding in the shade. And I can't blame you. <laughs> well, you told me already, so we, we had to cut because the camera overheated. So I'm assuming you've got the bit where we heard that that's all going, which is good. So how's uh, Stevie's coming on? Oh, it's been very, very quiet oh, this morning because the weather is very hot now. So mm -hmm. take, take two degrees today. It's 36 according to the signs on the other side. So, yeah, very hot. What's it like in the evening here, though? In the evening, it's very busy. Are you still working then? Ooh, I work all day. Ooh. I work from, 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 from 
from 9 in the morning to 4 o'clock, again from, from 6 o'clock to 12 midnight every single day. Cool. But in the night time, it's, it's where we're more busy now because yeah. in the daytime, the weather is too hot, everybody go to the beach, they are come out in the night time. So that's why we make the money in the night time that day. Okay, I can understand that because it's. I mean, I just walk from one end to the other, and, and well, as you saw, the camera overheated. And I'm bearing that in mind. I've got to finish it up there, so I'm going to carry on now until that. Well, I'm going to finish this quickly because that's twice the camera's overheated, and I just want to get to the end. But from what he was saying, Harry, uh, all this is coming down, which is good. So, uh, you see some boats moving. This is the quickest ending to one of my walkabouts, but it shows you how hot it is. Right, the camera keeps overheating, so I'm just going to say goodbye now. I'll like, carry on filming to see if I get anything interesting up here before it conks out again. There's Da Vinci's. I've no idea what it's going to be, but 